So the NES Classic Mini came and gone, and it left quite an impact on the North American market. Not a lot of people got one. So China took notice and crossed that with the popularity of the Raspberry Pi and retro gamers. This Nest Pi case has come about. So it's branded by Retroflag, and if you go on Alibaba, you can get one for around 20 bucks. wait one to two weeks, and have it delivered to your house or apartment. What you don't need to do is pay the markup prices on Amazon and eBay for this device, which $60, $180, I mean, this is pretty silly for what's essentially a glorified USB hub. So just keep that in mind. If you search, you'll find it for cheap on Alibaba. Looking at the box for the Nest Pi, it's very clear this is intended for the USA market because remember the Famicom was redesigned to the NES for the American market because we went through the video game crash just three years prior and the redesign of the Famicom was to look more like a VCR and not look like a video game console. So the redesign for this is based off the tooling and molds for the NES Classic but even going a step further, they made this really nice looking cardboard box. This isn't just like bubble wrap in a box, it's a engineered folded cardboard cut stamp that protects this thing on five out of six sides of the box it's contained in. It's protected. So in the box you get an instruction manual, a screwdriver, and a bunch of screws. In this case is for the Raspberry Pi 1 B+, plus, Raspberry Pi 2, and 3. It's nice because the way the Raspberry Pi sits, the Broadcom chip faces upward, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. So inside the screws, and you can just see this is a USB 2.0 hub with uh, Ethernet pass-through. The way you install the Pi is make sure you remove the SD card first, otherwise you'll never be able to get it in there. And the USB port connection is actually connects to the port closest, the top port closest to the Ethernet cable. And then you'll connect the power. Don't do the GPIO cable backwards, otherwise, you may destroy your Pi. And then it just kind of wedges down into the case. So I didn't, I failed to look at the instructions first, but I eventually got it. And the cables are just long enough to get this in there. They are, they are no longer than they need to be, so just be patient. Takes a little bit of getting the right angles to get this thing to fit in. One thing I like that's a product of having space for these connectors is you essentially have three USB ports that you can still plug stuff into. So if you have a wireless keyboard, you can still get it in and hide this dongle inside the case which I think is pretty nice. There are six screws that hold the top and bottom shell together. Inside the top shell, there's a spot where you can clip or mount a 30 millimeter fan for cooling the Raspberry Pi, since this faces the Broadcom chip. Other thing to note, those molded grooves are actually vent holes, which is really nice, so they thought about this even has that clippable SD storage slot. So the front has a working power switch with a illuminated red LED light. The reset switch also works, but these are not software switches. They're not triggering some kind of script that you can write or triggering off a GPIO. They're just interrupting the five volt rail. So if you reset or power off before doing a software shutdown, you're likely to corrupt the SD card if it was in the middle of a write instruction. Other than that, it's it's really a well thought out case if you can get it for the listed price off of Alibaba. So usually between eight and $15 is what I've been noticing. It houses your Raspberry Pi with room for ventilation and gives you a USB 2.0 port in the style of an NES case. So if you can get one, I recommend it. It's It fills the gap for the NES Classic Mini, especially if you thought it was limited and you got your hands on one, or you can't get a Super NES Mini. 
Uh, this really fits the bill for what the market was looking for as far as Nintendo failing to deliver on their consumer basis. And, you know, the Raspberry Pi 3 is probably your best option in any regard for emulating through your HDMI television.